Hey, what's up guys, it's Nick, back again with a quick iOS update tip that could totally save your day. So, I ran into this situation months ago, my iPhone got stuck during an update. It just froze, wouldn't turn off, wouldn't boot. I didn't feel like messing with iTunes or Finder, and to be honest, I was trying to avoid wiping my phone. I ended up trying this tool called Ryboot. I've heard of it before, but never used it. So this video is just me walking you through what it actually does and whether it's worth keeping around. First off, it helps with recovery mode. If you've ever had to press volume up, down, hold power, count to 10, you know the deal. Just to get your phone into recovery mode, you'll get why this caught my eye. With Rayboot, you just plug your phone in, open the app, and click enter recovery mode. That's it. And it worked, my phone switched into recovery without any button pressing. Same thing when I wanted to exit recovery. Just hit exit. Simple, and it didn't touch any of my stuff. Back then, my issue wasn't fixed just by entering recovery. So I tried the system repair option. There are two modes. I picked the standard one because it claims to keep your data. After a few minutes, the phone booted up normally. No data loss, no backup restore needed. That part surprised me a bit. I was half expecting it to reset everything. I also test iOS versions a lot. Sometimes I need to jump back and forth between beta and public versions. Rayboot lets you do that too, assuming Apple's still signing the version. It's not a tool I'd use every day, but for those random situations where your phone is bricked or stuck, it's just useful to have something that works without overcomplicating it. Anyway, I thought I'd share that in case someone else runs into the same thing. This isn't some magic fix for every problem, but for basic recovery and repair, Rayboot did its job. Let me know if you've tried it or if something else worked for you. I'll leave the link down below, not sponsored, just the version I used. And yeah, feel free to subscribe if you want more real-world fixes like this.